Today I'm going to be moving hay. My bigger international tractor is in the shop, so once again I'll be using the little 20 horse Massey Ferguson. I've got a bunch of trash on this cover for the radiator from bush hogging, so I'll blow all that trash off with the air hose, keep my tractor from getting too hot. It'll improve it. Take this little screen off right here. I gotta take that bush hog off of there. I'm gonna bush hog this little spot right here first. Just to store my bush hog. implement I got I used a gift card I got for my birthday to help pay for it three point trailer mover from tractor supply I got a hay dolly I'm gonna use this to hook onto that trailer and move the hay to adjust this middle uh, bar I don't know what you call that tighten it up to get that thing leveled out this thing's tight I'm gonna use this hitch as a cheater pipe I applied a little bit of grease there, so hopefully that'll make it easier when it gets in the in there. All right, I think that's close enough. Here's the hay dolly. I should have brought me a can of wasp spray. I don't know whether there'll be any wasps in that tongue or not, but a lot of times there are. I don't know what you call those little striped wasps, but they're in there. They don't seem to be as aggressive as the others. Get a look at that wasp nest in there. It's 113. Let's see how long this takes me. I got the trailer hooked up, got the tractor going. Time to move some hay. What I forgot to do, I forgot to put the pins back in there. I just got this bale of hay back in here and I'm having problems with this trailer swaying side by side real bad. It's making it where the trailer's just wanting to do this as I back up. Also, this bar right here is rubbing against my tires when it goes one way or the other. I think I'm gonna drop this bale of hay off and I'm gonna move these pins on the inside Maybe if those bars aren't sticking out so far, they'll at least not rub on the tire. One thirty-one. now. I'm definitely going to lose a little time doing this. Like I say, I'm going to take this uh, nut off right here. And put that pin on the inside and maybe it'll take those hold those bars in tighter i'm hoping got it back on it looks like it has made a difference it won't go up against the tire try this side this side gets pretty close but it still doesn't rub i shouldn't get as much overall sway either i get a little bit it's 148 lost a little over 15 minutes to get back to it i'm kind of wanting to see how long this job takes me with the hay dolly i've got eight bales moved now one thing i started doing is i started driving uphill and now i'm backing downhill it's making backing up a lot easier instead of trying to push those bales uphill temperature's up to 89 degrees it is partly cloudy so that's helping out a bunch it's five o'clock i still got two more bales to move i did take a break 
my little hand winch the gears have gone out on me so i guess i'm gonna have to replace it but i was cranking this uh i was cranking it up and it just it starts skipping on me i don't know if i can get it to yep it won't even crank now but yep that's the end of that this winch is pretty easy to change out there's just two bolts holding it on i actually bought that last winter i use this tractor to feed my cows in the winter time because it's got those glow plugs and it starts in cold weather this bell on the back is pretty big I'm gonna measure it give you an idea on how big it is so it's almost five and a half foot and right at four foot so that one is a five and a half a four by five and a half however you measure that this one right here is a little bit smaller it's only about four and a half foot tall on this end the other end may be a little bigger well i guess that's all for today if you like this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button and thanks for watching